Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was watching a video from UCAN2 Electrical, and in that video, he went through the insulated tools that he used, and I'll leave a link to his video down in the description below. Now, as he went through his insulated tools, he actually tested tips of those insulated tools for conductivity, and he didn't get any conductivity across any of the tools that he had. And that kind of surprised me because I've always treated the metallic part of insulated tools as conductive and would conduct electricity if you shorted something out with them. That made me collect together some of my insulated tools and carry the same test out on them. Now he tested his tools with a Klein clamp meter set to the continuity function. I'm going to test mine with the U1461A insulation multimeter. Initially, I'm going to have this turned to the continuity function. Just him there, that's him there. And if we beep him, you can see as much as zero reading and we get the beep. So, um, let's try these ones first. These are NWS side cutters. These are my everyday side cutters. So, and we've got uh, okay yeah, perhaps a bit of so you can pretty much say they're conductive. These are pretty much brand new. These are the NWS stripping pliers that I've been playing with to see how I get along with them. Um, test them as well. Yeah, we've got continuity across there, haven't we? Okay. Um, so part of these, these are CK screwdrivers. Again, these are part of my everyday carry. So they're uh, a bit battered and bruised. Uh, so in the hundred ohms. Works back on. Hmm, generally conductive, but it is a bit of a mixed bag with that one. Let's try a larger one. Yeah, conductive all the way. If I move to, let's see this bit of area here with the screwdriver, if I point, put this up, focuses. So this very tip has been worn away through working on screws. Not sure how well I can see it there. The very tip, sort of like a couple of mil of the tip has worn away, or the coating is worn away. And if I'm uh, so if I've got an area. Yeah, so there appears to be a coating on this that is a little bit non-conductive. But if I go on to the worn areas, obviously there's greater conductivity there. Hmm. A little bit there. Let's try something out. This is another everyday carry of mine. This is the Baco. Number three Phillips. Mm, similar sort of yeah, it's not fully conductive but it's bouncing around a little bit, but it's uh, it's not what I'd call insulating. Um, okay, these Knipex, this is another one I've been playing with, stripping pliers, uh, pretty much brand new. So again, it's not 
giving me the beep, but it's not exactly insulating. But I would say. Uh, so these are Tolsons, so these are actually out of my insulating toolkit. Uh, used for live working, so these are pretty much pristine. Similar sort of response, not. Uh, Yeah, it's like this something. Yeah, a bit more uh, conductive. I'll try one of the screwdrivers. Oh, didn't hold it, do we? So he is pretty much non-conductive as far as you can tell there. Again it appears to be that. Yeah, it's like it's some sort of a, a surface coating. Okay, and the final one from my toolkit is this ITL spanner. Um, put him that way. So again, there's the surface resistance there, but it's not. Uh, it's not cool insulating. Oh, there we go. What we got there. Hmm. Okay. So I don't actually have in my kit tools that he used in his video. Um, he had Mastercraft pliers, a Milwaukee screwdriver set and a Titan screwdriver, sorry, a, yeah, a Titan screwdriver set that he actually tested. Um, and the only ones that were available to me to go out and buy were the Milwaukee screwdriver set. And this is the Milwaukee 48-22-22023 insulated screwdrivers. Uh, we've got the number two Phillips there, and a large five and a half mil slotted by the looks of it, and the number two PZ slash S screwdriver. Okay, so we've got the number two Phillips there, so. We'll give this a prod. Turn the light on. And we see there is absolutely no continuity there whatsoever on the tips of these. Much less continuity than on uh, any of the other tools I've got, really. Yeah. That's strange. Not come across that before. Uh, but what we will do is we'll turn him around to insulation test. Let's stick on 500 volts. And now I'm pretty sure one of the ones, which one's on mine? So the Tolson showed a bit of uh, protection. So. So you can see 500 volts, it's broken down completely. That's continuity. I'm trying 250. Again, the 0 0.03 mega ohms, that's a dead short. Of course, it's not showing up on the continuity meter. It doesn't hold up on an insulation tester either. Let's try the Milwaukee's. Now they actually do hold up. That's holding 260 gig ohm. Oh, drop then. 28. Okay, so it looks like it's something on the surface then, doesn't it? Protecting it. Dropping even more now. There's the voltage gone. So, yeah. so I've punctured the uh, whatever coating is on there. I'm now punctured. Let's try this. Uh, slightly different air. Try the other side. 
Here we go in gig ohms. Pump up the voltage a little bit. Yeah, actually, uh, probably didn't hear it. I saw that spark then uh, through. There's loads of surface coating on it. Yeah, not sure whether you can hear that or not, but it's broken through now. Yeah. Hmm, um, what else did I have that was... All my other tools are pretty much conductive, really. A bit of... Uh, they'll, just, they'll just go straight down. And, uh, yeah, no voltage there. There goes. I'm uh, not sure the ones I try my Baco one that had a bit of uh, insulation. Again, just broken straight down. There's my SCK. Yeah, just broke straight down. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, interesting indeed. Let's uh, go back to my Milwaukee. You can see it's broken down there. I'm just switching back to uh, continuity. Just see uh, if I've uh, uh, nothing there on the uh, trail scratching. Yeah. Put it there, isn't it? Kilo ohms. As soon as I switch around to voltage, reasonable voltage, yeah. Go straight through. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting that. So it does appear, unlike my tools that are pretty much conductive, and that's the way I've always treated them, um, the tool tips on these Milwaukee's do seem to have some sort of coating on them that on the face of it is non-conductive, but it is just a coating. So as soon as you've scratched through, you start to uh, see conduction through there. And obviously um, a continuity test so it has a very low voltage as soon as I change this to an insulation test and turn up the test voltage, it breaks through that coating and you get conductivity. Yeah, I wonder what is their coat with it then. Quite interesting, that. You learn something every day, they say. Yeah. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. I say I'll leave a link to the video from UCAN2 Electrical in the description so you can go over to his channel and check that out. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again in the next video.